my house right now. Okay, it's not horribly cold, but it's really cold. I have my winter barn coat on. It is the end of September and it's 45 degrees out right now. That's cold, but that's okay because I wanted to share with you guys a really fun DIY project that I did and I'm gonna show it to you in just a minute. Hi again, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Okay, so it's cold and I wanna get this done quickly, but what I wanted to share with you guys today was something really fun that I made. And I got the idea for this after I painted my horse brush. Do you remember that video where I showed you how to customize your horse brushes? This paint job on one of the heart to horse brushes that I got. Well, I really like that pattern. So I thought I would do something really fun and make some stall signs for my horse's stalls with this pattern. Do you wanna see them? They're pretty cute. And these are the stall signs I made trying to duplicate the pattern that I had on the horse brush that I painted. I think they turned out really cool. They were really easy to make. So now I'm gonna show you how you too can have really cool customized stall signs for your horses. So the first thing I did was just paint some boards and I used one by six inch boards. And while my paint was drying, then I used my Cricut machine to cut out the letters. And I just found a font that I liked and adjusted the size on the Cricut machine and then cut the letters out on heavy duty cardstock. And once the main color of the stall signs was dry, then I decided to paint the patterns onto the signs. And you can do whatever you want. I was just trying to duplicate the pattern that I had created on the horse brush that I had, and I really liked it, so I wanted to make some signs that would match it. And just to let you know, the paint that I used on these signs is just acrylic paint, nothing fancy, just paint that I got at Walmart. And then I just did a little bit more designing on the sign so they would look like the horse brush. And after the paint was all dried, then it was time to put the letters on the signs and attach them permanently. So I used Mod Podge to glue the letters onto the sign. So this is Frisbee's stall sign. And then it was time to make Ethan's sign. And 
And if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can just find some big letters or you could even paint the letters on your sign yourself. And after I gave the signs ample time to dry, then it was time to bring them outside and hang them up. And this is the finished product. Ethan stall sign is hanging up. Frisbee sign is hanging up, and now I have stall signs on my horse's stalls. I'm so happy. Well, now that I'm freezing, and my nose is probably red because it's cold, that's it for how you can make your own custom stall signs for your barn or for your horses. That was a pretty fun and simple DIY project, I think. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture, my picture, at the end of this video and you'll never miss another video and you'll get lots of great different DIY ideas and horse videos to watch. Again, thanks for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.